Fellow undrafted free agents, first off, I get it. I know this situation sucks. After months of going through of being stuck in this limbo, that is the draft, suddenly your entire reality has changed. You've been playing this game for most of your life. It's probably the thing most people know you for. The first topic of conversation brought up by anyone you meet. And now you have no idea how close your career is to ending. But you know what? I was right where you are. And I'm still playing football. All I was looking for is an opportunity. I just wanted a shot. I had hopes to get drafted, of course, maybe late in the sixth or seventh round. But, you know, that didn't happen. And I was given the gift to come play with the Cowboys and have the opportunity to be on this team. When I got to the Cowboys, I could tell right away that I was coming to a team that pretty much already had their guys in place. If I wasn't the very last man gunning for the very last available roster spot, I was close. What I caught on to pretty quickly was that when you're an undrafted free agent, every day is cut day. The only way to stand out is to do something spectacular every day. And I don't just mean on the practice field. You need to leave an impression in the weight room, during film study, really every moment that you're around the team facility, you need to be on point. It's going to be tough for him to do it, but he's definitely a guy that's competing in the fifth receiver spot. He doesn't have the size, speed, but he does offer other things and other qualities as a receiver. Boy, he, he runs those routes full speed, and it's hard to, you know, it's hard to gauge. Ah, good work, baby. The guy has a lot of ability. If he doesn't make our team, I'm... My money's down. He'll make somebody else a squad. Kind of like the underdog out there, kind of like the Rudy guy, you know. I get a couple cheers and it feels good. Even though I had a solid camp, I got cut. Bruce, who you got, partner? Danny. Yeah, Danny, okay. How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good, sitting right there. Thanks for coming before you got your shower. But uh, I know Wade mentioned to you here, just have a seat, don't worry about that. Uh, uh, Wade met with you and talked about you going to practice squad. Mm. That's where we immediately go to nine times out of ten. Yes, if sir. we lose somebody during the season, we go over there and get it. Yes, sir. There is a chance that somebody would be interested in you and offer you a spot on the 53. Yes, sir. Of their team. Obviously, if you get a chance to be on a 53-man roster, then that's something that changes that. Yes, sir. You couldn't have given us more. Yes, sir. So you've, you've given it all away from the day you walked out here. Mm. I know you'll improve and uh, get better, and so if this thing works out, we want you on the practice squad. Sounds great. So anyway, hope this works out for us. Okay, I appreciate okay, it. Okay, good, Danny. All right. All right, bye. After spending a year on the Cowboys practice squad, I signed with the Eagles in the offseason and joined them for training camp. This time was a little different though. I got pretty lucky. A couple of weeks after I signed with the Eagles, their quarterbacks coach, Pat Schumer, took the job as offensive coordinator in St. Louis. We only overlapped for a couple of weeks, but we seemed to have good chemistry. Two weeks after the Eagles waved me, I got a call that the Rams wanted to sign me. Not on the practice squad. They wanted me on the active roster, returning punts. That's how fast it could happen. Kick off to Danny Almondola. Picked up just this week, adding some speed for the Rams on the return. Last run back for a touchdown on a kickoff by a Ram was Chris Johnson in 2007. Week three, game on. From his own end zone, Almondola has room. And it took the kicker, Crosby, to keep him from breaking it. And Amendola, which, like you mentioned, was just signed off the practice squad from Philadelphia. He was really brought over because of his comfort level and his background with Coach Sermon. And that's how I got my break. Since then, a lot has happened. 
I still face challenges I never anticipated when I first came into the NFL. But here's something you can take to heart. I'm better for having gone through the experiences you're having right now. Better in so many ways beyond football. If you're going to make it, it's definitely going to take some degree of luck. But it's worth remembering that you have to put yourself in a certain position in order to get lucky. The only way to get your break is to keep showing up, keep grinding, keep finding a way to make it to another practice until luck finds you. No matter what, you can never stop believing that your time will come. That's the only reason I'm still here. Not all bad. Not all bad. No, it didn't. Not, Not all bad. bad. Didn't. Get to play football. Huh? That's right. Good luck with whatever comes next, and hopefully see you soon. Sincerely, Danny Amendola.